everyone and welcome or welcome back to the channel. This is your host Carmina and uh, today we are going to continue our series of learning the meaning, learning the interpretation of each and every one of the cards of the common yet complex playing card deck. And today is the turn of the three of spades. The three of spades. Okay, so what is the three of spades? First, let's look at the suit. We see it's a black suit. So that means we have a more masculine, a more pushy energy, a more active, young type of thing. And then we see three spades. We see there is a odd number of uh, spades. So that means there's some tension, there's some struggle, there's some conflict. Things are not easy, things are not smooth. And then we see the number three. And we know that the number three is associated to planet Mars. So it's associated to the martial energy. It's associated to this energy of courage, this energy of pushing boundaries, of pushing forward, of assertiveness, of competitiveness. But it's kind of a competitiveness which is fair play, right? If the three of spades is reversed, the person can be less fair play. But whenever we see the three of spades, we think of taking some risk. We think of asserting ourselves because the spades have to do with our body and with our own self. So it's a very personal suit. The three of spades is after finding what we need at the two of spades, then we fly apart from what we need at the three of spades because we need some time off, because we need to re affirm our individuality. We need to refine ourselves alone after coming together with something or someone. At the two of spades, it's more something. It's something that you need physically or psychologically. Yeah, so the three of spades is a very warrior-like card. It's a card of flying apart from what you need, looking further, breaking new territory, breaking new ground, just being courageous, just being uh, independent and just pushing forward, soldiering on. Because of course the threes are an integral part of the jack of spades. The other two parts are the ace and the two of spades. And at the three of spades, it's the soldier taking a risk. And uh, also when we look at the spade suit, we think of the fire element. The fire element, and uh, if we associate it to Mars, it's very similar to the martial energy because the fire burns, the fire moves forward. It has a more forceful, a more cruel, a more pushy nature and um, the three of spades is just, it's like maybe like the bullet moving through, pushing through things, just moving forward in a very forceful manner. And I'm just saying bullet because Mars is also associated to metals. Yeah, so that's the energy of the three of spades. It's, uh, it's not a, a gentle card. It's a card that's very much taking risks. It's a card that is doing some fighting. It's a very warrior-like card. If we look in the year spread, we see that the days corresponding to the three of spades in the year are, of course, 11th of January. And then we have the 9th of February, which is today. And then we have the 7th of March, we have the 5th of April, and we have the 3rd of May and 1st of June. 
So those days every year, if you are born after sunrise in your place of birth, then it means you are the fighting spirit, you are the, the lucky owner of the, the three of spades birth card. Now, if we look at the, the three of spades underlying card, that is the six of diamonds. So the energy of the three of spades of taking some risks with the selves is embodied from being financially successful or being successful with concrete things in life, being validated by society for your concrete talents or just financially comfortable, financially satisfied as much as you can by the world. And then if we see the overlying card, that is also a diamond. For the three of spades, the overlying card is the jack of diamonds. So naturally, the three of spades energy will tend to become a person that can bring something of value to the world, that can bring, that can offer a feeling of worthwhileness that will uh, make those around them, their environment, the people in their environment make feel like they deserve the best. So that's a very nice quality to have for the Jack of Diamonds, the so-called salesman card. Now, if we look at the spread for the three of spades. So if we look at this three of spades birth card, it's interesting that their path is also their overlying card, so the Jack of Diamonds. So these people are on a very concrete path. They're on the path of making things look good, of making things look worthwhile, uh, a path of making people feel good about themselves. Everything we know about the Jack of Diamonds, that is their path. And it's also possible that they get associated with such people that embody the Jack of Diamonds energy. Then if we look at the spread, they seem to have a pretty balanced um, you know, proportion of red cards and uh, black cards, so feminine and masculine energy. Uh, they have the seven of spades on the moon card. They have the seven, of, uh, sorry, they have the seven of clubs in the moon card and they have the seven of spades on the Saturn card. So they have two sevens, two nines, they have a jack and a queen and a five. And then the nodes are a king of clubs and the two of clubs, the north node. And then they have the, the four of hearts the, as a Uranus card, the four of diamonds as Neptune card, and the two of spades as a Pluto card. So that Pluto card of the two of spades, it shows that it's difficult for them to enjoy coming together with what they need. So they put a lot of expectations in finding a remedy and finding a cure for themselves, for their physical and psychological matters. But uh, when they do, that cure is not quite how they expected because that's what Pluto does. It kind of shatters expectations and it just brings out the truth. But uh, that is only done so that the person can be a better three of spades. And then if we look at the sun card, we look at the, the kingdom they are building. It's a very devotional kingdom. So the three of spades people are very inclined towards spirituality. And then we see another nine, the nine of diamonds on the Venus card. So they really enjoy astrology, I could say, because the, the nine of diamonds can be connected to astrology. Uh, I, I also, I don't think I mentioned that the three of spades is connected to the strength card in tarot. The red threes are temperance and the black threes are strength. So these are, these are people that are born with a lot of inner strength, with a lot of martial energy. And uh, the way they channel it, of course, depends on the other cards and it depends on the planets in the cards. So the, the card spread, the natal spread will always be the same for the three of spades, just the planets will be in different placements. 
according to the, the time and place of birth of each person. And now we have the, um, the seven of clubs on the moon card. Yes, That's, that shows some difficulty in their upbringing, in their early environment, some break with their ideas then. Then they have the, the five of diamonds in the Mars card, and that shows that they overcome crisis situation, which is Mars, by improving on their skills, by um, finding better ways to make it work financially. And then they have the Queen of Spades on the Mercury card. So the way they communicate is kind of self-sufficient. Of course, it also depends on Mercury, where Mercury is. In this particular example, Mercury is not doing well. It's quite shamed there in the Seven of Spades um, Saturn card. It's agitated, it's shamed, so mm. yeah. But it's also a more, you know, not really caring about what other people feel, not really communicating empathically, empathetically, but they're more concerned with just getting themselves across, I would say. And then we have the, 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 Jack, the Jupiter card, which is their broader vision of life, which is how they deal with children, how they deal with men in their lives if the Three of Spades is a woman. And um, yeah, they really enjoy creating new projects. They enjoy launching new projects because the Jack embody more than the Ace of Clubs. It also embodies the two and the three. So it's not just having the idea like the Ace, but it's also launching the idea. It's uh, having the idea, coming together with it, and then taking a risk and putting it out there at the three. So it's a very nice Jupiter card. They're also, if they're women, they can be attracted to this type of men that are very entrepreneurial with their uh, intellect. They're very artistic. They like to put a lot of things out there. And then they have the nine of diamonds on the Venus card that shows that they are very receptive to the environment and they should learn to enjoy spending money, yes? Because the Nine of Diamonds can show a lot of expense. It can also be a very charitable card. So they should learn to enjoy uh, themselves and, uh, you know, themselves as having a more spiritual relationship with money, like being a, a channel for expenditures and for giving and receiving, not just I over identifying with the money, but just letting it go when it needs to go. That seven of spades on the Saturn card shows that when there is a crisis, when something hits that's been a long time coming, that they, they are mature enough to let it go, to see it in them and let it go. Of course, it also depends on the condition of Saturn. Saturn here has pretty mixed states because it's secure because it's in Capricorn, it's in, in its own sign, but it's also ashamed by the presence of the South Node there. And um, it's also, unfortunately, agitated by the Sun. So the South Node card is the, the key. so in what, what that means is when you see that shame and delay, at best, you can, um, you can see a delay in that card developing and at worst, it's like the person is just going to victimize themselves and just get stuck and not want to eliminate what's not working in their life. That, that happens. And then we look at the, the South Node card, which is a king of clubs. So in a past life, there were a very high level uh, with their intellect, with their creativity. And in this life, they need to focus more on coming together with an idea, with education, the two of clubs, with intellectual collaboration. And then we have the, the four of hearts, which is the, 
the Uranus card, so what they, they can bring to the table on a collective level. And that's, again, devotion. The Four of Hearts is a very devotional card. It's like emotional comfort through devotion. And that's how they are unique. That's how they, uh, they are individuals in the collective. And then the Neptune is how they bond on a deeper level to the world. So when they are secure materially, when they feel they are doing good deals, then they also feel they connect on a deeper level to the world. They are comfortable enough to connect. And we already talked about the, that nice Pluto card, the two of spades where they have to, to learn uh, that the remedy is not what they expected. The remedy can be different than what they expected. Okay, you guys, so thank you very much for watching. Thanks for being here, um, supporting and commenting on these videos. If you enjoy these videos, don't forget to give uh, a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, if you like the way these cards are looking, there are some cards that I designed with the help of a very gifted illustrator, and you can order them by following the link below. Uh, they are drawn according to the cards of truth principles, and I really love using them, and everyone who got them really had nice things to say about them. So. If you are that way inclined, you can order yours below. I'm currently uh, teaching classes on the cards of truth, so they are not for absolute beginners. If you are an absolute beginner, you can just, you know, take some time to watch my YouTube videos. You can watch Ernst's videos and uh, then you can take my classes. Because usually, you know, what is for absolute beginners, you can find for free online. And uh, yeah, I am in the middle of these classes that I'm doing until March. And then from March onwards, I'm starting um, a new series with a new series of students. And you can register for these classes. I'm gonna post a link in the description box. I'm also doing astrology classes. And of course, you can always book a reading, okay? Okay, so I'll talk to you tomorrow with the Two of Spades. Bye.